Ghost hunting apps, a viable tool for the modern ghost hunter, or are they just as silly as they sound? Apps, short for applications. Which, you know, but I'm talking about ghost hunting apps here, not the most intellectual of topics. Okay, my bias aside, let's download a whole bunch of them and see what they actually do. Let's start with a ghost radar. These are a major hit with the kids, and the idea is that with this, you can locate the ghosts and see where in the room they are. If this worked, it would be an amazing tool. We have a search area in the style of a PPI radar display, which makes absolutely no sense without a rotating radar antenna connected to it. But okay, aesthetics I guess. We have some different settings here. We can choose between low, medium and high. Low, medium and high what? But okay, let's pick high. Push it to the limit and max this shit out. Start scan. Okay, that happens. Ghost detected. Look at him go. Okay, now rotating the phone doesn't make a lick of difference, which makes the PPI style display even more stupid. No, this is just animations. It's useless. Zero out of 45 bananas. Let's try a different ghost radar. Ghost Detector Pro. I mean, this has gotta be good. It's called Pro. Cat Poiken. For your different thing, this cat is messing with the green screen. You're not supposed to be behind the green screen. Just went about that. This one says that it uses the phone's sensors, though it doesn't specify which sensors, because it probably doesn't use a single one of them to detect electromagnetic fields. Now it also says that it filters out fields of a constant frequency, such as those generated by electronics. Well, that's convenient. So by stringing together that bullshit statement, they claim that ghosts have a constant frequency, which I would like to know how they know. And also that I cannot say that it doesn't work because it's not detecting my appliances. Do you know what this is? This is a premature fuck you. Not a constant frequency. And it's not detecting it. Unlike this EMF meter, it's actually detecting it. But it is detecting some bullshit that just isn't here. And moving closer doesn't change the proximity of the dot either. These ghost radars just do not work. Some of them are labeled as prank applications, and in that case I really don't have a problem with them. But these, however, are not. I would show you an equally useful ghost hunting tool now, but I, uh, I ate it. Ghost Detector Pro. Zero out of three potatoes. A modern phone is a technological masterpiece. It's equipped with a host of sensors to both optimize its performance as well as add additional functionality. Not every input device is available to developers, but a few common ones that are include the gyroscope. This uses Earth's gravitation to determine the orientation of the phone. The most basic use of this is to flip the interface from vertical to horizontal when the phone is tilted. An accelerometer. Like the name suggests, this provides the phone with information about its acceleration. This is often used for features like shaking the phone to shuffle a playlist. 
magnetic sensors. These come in a few different varieties, but they basically measure magnetic fields and are typically used in modern phones as compasses to assist in GPS-based applications. Even with the basic inputs like the camera and microphone, a clever programmer can make advanced applications. You could for instance use the speakers to send out a signal, and then listen for that signal getting bounced back in the microphone, and then determine some object's distance by measuring the time it took for the signal to come back. Similar to the kind of sensors you can use to make obstacle avoiding robots. Given the wide range of possibilities, these ghost radars are just... sad. Like I showed you before, the EMF meter may actually work if your phone has the necessary circuits for the compass feature. So a minor problem would be the accuracy, it's, uh, it's not very good. And the major problem would be that we have no evidence to suggest that ghosts exist, or that EMF meters would be a viable way of finding them. But you know, why not? And let's go hunt for Bigfoot with a barometer while we're at it. Actually, many modern phones have barometers. That is one big foot. EMF meters, two out of six unpaired socks. And I suppose that this is as good of a time as any to point out that you're all using the EMF meters wrong. Yes, they are handheld devices, but you're not supposed to just walk around with them like that without actually measuring something. No one has invented the PKE meter yet. Waving them around in the fashion that you do, it looks dumb, it really does. Input EMF meter into the search engine of your choice and now peruse the results. Do you see all the various makes and models? Now what does that tell you? That there's a market for these instruments, which makes it very likely that a large number of people know how to use these instruments that can clearly see that you don't. I can see the allure of having fancy gadgets, and it's nice that you're at least trying to gather data. But you're not, because you're not using these devices in a way that would give you any. Like I said in the Spirit Box episode, I plan on doing a full episode on EVPs at some point, so I will not be discussing the inner workings of that now. Ghost hunting tools. Okay, what's what's going on here? I think it's some kind of weird EVP and ovulus hybrid. It appears to be completely random. It plays a noise and after a while it says a word. So far, it has said, hi, mail, grab, branches, anything, aunt, orb, ring, root. Who says orb? When was the last time you talked to someone and you said orb? It's a whole bunch of nonsense. I tried letting it sit on the desk on its own for a while, and I tried asking questions and shaking it around. There was no difference in operation, as one might expect. Negative two out of one good fart in Tai Cheats. Okay, so to conclude this episode, the good thing is that most of these are free. No one is going to profit from someone else's stupidity here. But I, I really don't know what to say. Most of these are just one degree of dumb away from eating glue. 
many of them are labeled as entertainment, but then again, so is the Arbulus, so that may just be for legal reasons. It's, it's quite bad enough that they exist. If you use these and think that they work, then I think that you should talk to your mother about going back in again, because I don't think that you're quite done yet. Okay, no, that's gross and wrong. Let, let, let me try again. If you use these and think that they work, then that proves that you absolutely were not too cool for school. You have a lot to learn. You better get started. Okay, no. Screw this. It doesn't matter if the makers of these are not profiting. Stupidity just should not be enabled like this. Fuck you. Why did I make the text so sharp?